the Flyer faithful, game day starts bright and early with an area tailgate. Saturday mornings, I know I'm waking up at 8.30 in the morning. I would like it to be a little earlier, you know, but right now, uh, our goal is to be here by 10 o'clock in the morning, just to get things a little, try to get things a little rowdy. We're trying to develop a, a, a rowdy atmosphere at the University of Dayton football. Yeah. To, and here at UD, we're all about community, and what better way to get pumped for a football game than bringing all the students together for a great time, cheering on our flyers. It's going to be a great day, sun's out, we got great food, great people, and we're just here to have a great time. The Flyers take the field 90 minutes before game time as the captains lead the squad in stretches and team drills. The team then breaks the huddle and heads to the locker room where Coach Chamberlain addresses the team for the final time. Man, it's great to be home, isn't it? Great to be home. Slept in my own bed last night. Slept like a baby. Slept like a baby. Not because I'm in my own bed. It's because of how this team prepared. That's why I slept like a baby. Because I know today, Special Forces, you're going to continue to execute at the excellence that you've had. Offense, you're going to be up and down the field scoring all day long. Defense, you're going to fly to the ball and make plays when you get there. This is going to be a great day for us. This is going to be a great day for our crowd. And Coach Walton's going to remember his last trip to Welcome yeah. Stadium for a long time. Let's go now. The Flyers then race out on the field, and they're anxious to start their home season. Early on, the Flyers cannot get it going on offense, and the line adjusts on the sideline. Second and eight. I, I went up and got the linebacker. You can't tell if it's fielder or boundary. I went up. I, I was on the linebacker. That's just too much of a line. Honestly, get a feel for it. So I went up and got the linebacker. Meanwhile, the Flyer defense harasses Robert Morris and head coach Rick Chamberlain, a former Flyer linebacker, praises his defense after a solid series. Trying to trap. Yeah, they, they, they're cracking me. We got good pressure. We ain't get up. Good joke. Is there. Keep it up, defense. Let's shut it down. Let's go. Good job. The Flyers are able to strike first as senior Taylor Harris punches it in from two yards out. A fired up Flyer defense forces a quick three and out, and the Flyers punch it in one more time before the half as quarterback Will Bardo makes it 14 nothing Flyers going into the intermission. While the Flyers are happy with the first half, the coaches know adjustments are going to need to be made. The key is tackles, slide as much as you can. We still want to play our three out there. Slide, backside, linebacker. we got to get to our five. Everything else, we're sticking to what we got. Say we're sticking to our system. Play within it. Good to go. What else we got? Other than that, protect it okay. Run game, adequate. Good half, right? Good shot there. Okay, they got it. Fine. Right? Other than that, solid half, right? The Colonials waste little time scoring, and the Flyers' defense now looks to adjust in the second half. Quarterback carries, carries. That's all it was. Then he gets the pass. That was it. Come on. We got to get back out there. We got to get a turnover. Nothing on, good. Nothing good. Nothing good. Help Nothing good. What they're doing. Okay, guys? Come on. A little more pressure, too. Keep your heads up. Taylor Harris continues his banner day, putting the Flyers up 20-7 to after a missed extra point. Robert Morris then takes to the air. A 77-yard score cuts the flyer lead to just six, and the defense looks to finish the job. Stay into it. Right. Stay into it. Keep the pressure yes, on. You guys are going to be throwing it. Yeah. Just keep the pressure up. Okay? Yeah. Nothing to adjust. Nothing to adjust. We just keep going. Keep doing what we have been doing. Okay? Remember our goal. Remember our goal. We got to play. We got to be stout. Okay. I mean, I'm just hey, listen, listen, listen. Hey, that situation right now, where they're we're up two scores. Let them throw that 15 yards all day. We'll tackle it. Make them go. Make them take a. A, a 10 play hey, drive instead of a one, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And the Flyers do finish. 
and Matt Flieger interception seals the 20-14 win and makes for a happy locker room and a happy coach. treat uh, both a victory and a loss the same. Uh, we've had more victories than losses, so that makes a comforting feeling. But all we can do is enjoy this uh, tonight, Saturday evening, with our families and our friends and savor the win. But then tomorrow, it's right on to Jacksonville. Uh, that's, that's the way this job is, is we get ready for the next opponent. And uh, so you got to be ready. You can't dwell on the past, whether you lost or you won. The way the team handles a, a victory after a game is to just, again, enjoy it with their families. We have a number of families here, so it's an opportunity for our players to be with their mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters and grandparents and enjoy the night. Just enjoy the night with their company because they don't get to see them a whole lot. Then they'll get to bed. I'm sure those guys that played a lot, they'll get to bed early because they're tired and they're sore. And then tomorrow morning, they'll go and start their meetings and their weightlifting and getting ready for the next one. What we do here at Dayton, uh, immediately on Sunday, the coaches will be in breaking down the film of the game we just played. And then we'll start on our next opponent. Our players, they are free until about 6 o'clock, and they have their weightlifting and running with our strength coach, Mark Toby. Then at 7 o'clock, we start uh, watching film of this game, special teams, offense, defense, for about an hour and a half. Then we have a team meeting in which we give out all of our awards, which freshmen are there. Uh, freshmen started lifting at 7 o'clock. So about 8 o'clock, we're all in the team meeting handing out our weekly awards. And then... Everybody leaves but the prep team, and we start getting ready for our next opponent, and we spend the next 45 minutes to an hour watching film of our next uh, uh, opponent coming in.